this is shock and I got some really good news today um, as we're about to get on the freeway right here in less than 60 seconds I would say we just won debate number 50 50 debates in a row we actually won uh, more than that but I'm not going to count the other ones because some of them <laughs> I had like is 15 year old kid come in not that 15 year old kids aren't smart because there's a lot of 15 year old kids but I'm not going to count the 15 year old kid debate because he was horrible it was he was uh well we'll talk about that <laughs> but 50 debates against you know people that know how to debate and um it was awesome 50 debates in a row so you let's get on the freeway ready here we go. So we're going to talk to you about that, and I want to tell you why I did that. You know we've had uh, different projects that we work on. Hold on, let me first get all the way over, and then I'll finish telling you. i got to tuck down here. All right. No traffic, so we're going to be able to get right over. Yes, it is allowable to ride in the carpool lane. It's legal to ride in this carpool lane over here on the left. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in California, that is. Okay, so we had um, that guy on the other side of the freeway just waved to me, as motorcycle riders do, and I wasn't paying attention. I didn't get a chance. Hope he doesn't think I was rude. Um, we've had 50 debates in a row that atheists have lost. <laughs> um, the other night, we had a kid come in, and I didn't know he was a kid because... When they log in, you just see their chat name, and he's like, I want to debate. Are you willing to debate? So, of course, I always say yes. And then, when he got on, it was like a little kid. And I, I don't want to go ahead and win a debate with a kid. You know, that's kind of mean. Um, but he kept persisting he wanted to debate, so I'm like, all right. And right off the bat, he brought up evolution. He said, evolution proves there's no God. And I said, do you even know the difference between micro or macro evolution? And he said, no. And everyone told him, just don't debate, you know. But And then little by little, he kind of faded out. And then he didn't want to debate anymore. <laughs> but that's okay. But we did have 50 debates um, that we also won. Look at that Porsche. Four-door Porsche. 50 debates that we also won and we're coming up to motorcycles so I got a, a lot to cover guys and I'm gonna take the full 15 minutes of this video don't forget if you look below this video because I want to show you how we've won 50 debates in a row versus atheists you got to learn this information guys when you have information you will be extremely confident actually this is a scooter the guys on a scooter this is rare. We don't get many scooters on it. Whoa! Let's go this way. So, if you go to this website, right below this video called creation.com. Creation.com. Now, what I'm going to do is, that guy the scooter is like a wild man. Look at him cutting down the middle. See, guys, you can get a scooter like that. Automatic transmission. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through some of the things that the atheists use in their arguments, okay? And you're gonna see why they lose the debate. Number one, well, let's not say number one, there's so many things, because uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to count them all. Um, and there's tons. They'll bring up Santa Claus, leprechauns, uh, teapots, and this just does not prove that atheism is true. What we're looking for are reasons to believe that God does not exist. Sometimes they'll say, well, the, the, whoa, look at that big piece of plastic. I don't want this to wrap around me. They'll talk about the multiverse. There is no evidence that the multiverse even exists. That's a big mistake they made. Last night, get this, I was debating this guy, and he lost before in debate, but he goes, I want a rematch. Let's get up to this guy, the scooter. He's, the scooter guy's blind. And, um, <coughs> Maybe I should get the scooter and he could have this SB-1000. <laughs> and so this guy in the debate, I couldn't believe it. We were talking about objective values. How some things are wrong, like rape is always wrong. 
stealing money from your employer is always wrong. Even if the thief or the psychopath thinks it's right, it is objectively wrong. We all agree on this. So, I was debating this guy last night, the 757 guy, he, the one that lost before, now he wants a rematch. And he said, I said, watch, I'm going to prove the objective values exist. You have to admit, rape is always wrong. And he goes, when he got up, he said, rape is wrong in most cases, is what he said. He said, in most cases. So I challenged him. I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe what he just said. I said, give me an example. Look at it. It's, I think it's a 650. I go, give me an example where rape would be acceptable. This guy the scooter's like flying. This thing got power. I might get one of those. No shifting. It'd be great. All automatic transmission. So... He could not give me an example when rape is okay. It's just a horrible debater. Now, guys, when you go below here to creation.com, and look at my gloves coming undone. I'm going to have to strap it here. When you go below to creation.com, also go to the site below that, creation.com forward slash atheism. And you'll see very good information we have been debunking these atheists that think evolution is provable. There's so many errors in evolution. And when, when these uh, atheists come in, they don't really understand evolution. And when we start asking them, they don't know. And guys, you know how awesome it is to know that you know more about science true science than they do. This is how you win debate. This is how you do it. So, um, it was a goal of mine to do 50 debates in a row. By the way, you guys that are always saying you don't know how to shift gears, this is all you got to get right here. The scooter. It was a goal of mine to do 50 debates in a row. And I want to tell you a little personal story of why we do this, okay? Why do we do the debate? I've had people that have sat in the debate and they've actually become Christians. And, and now, um, it, we probably did about 50 debates over a six month period. That's a lot of work I did. A lot of talking. You figure each debate's almost an hour long. That's 50 hours of debates I do because I love you guys. <clears throat> Defending the faith by giving proof and evidence that Christian theism is true. So we do these debates because I want people to see that the more plausible choice it's not atheism. It's Christian theism. Uh, so let me think of some other weak arguments that the atheists give. I think you guys will like this. Oh, here's one thing that um, we had a guy come in last night named Juan. And Juan, if you're watching, no offense to you, man. I'm just giving your argument. Um, Juan was talking about how God took the lives of people in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know how when God destroys certain cities and stuff, the one thing you gotta realize, guys, is there is the wrath of God also. There's the love of God for those that are in his will, and then there's the wrath of God for people that are just the God-haters. There is the wrath of God, and I know a lot of people don't wanna talk about the wrath of God, but it's there. So Juan uh, brought up in the debate, well, why would God go ahead and, you know, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah or, you know, destroy the world with the flood? He brought up several passages where God's wrath destroys an evil people. He ain't destroying people that are uh, the good guys. He's destroying the bad guys. Go check it out. He always is destroying the bad guys, not the good guys. 
I've seen them, I've seen God defend the good guys, actually. But the bad guys, hey, I'm all for it, God. <laughs> if you ask me, God has a lot more patience than I would be if I was God, than I would have if I was God. This scooter guy is fast, I'm telling you. Hey, guys, what type of scooter is this? I might get one of these. This is all you guys need right here. Look at this guy zipping in and out. Um, so I asked Juan, because uh, this is another argument atheists bring up, is how God destroyed the earth with the worldwide flood. How um, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, if you actually read what happened, the, the, there were these very wicked men, and they were surrounding uh, Lot's house, and they were rapists. They were rapists is what they were. And they were trying to break down the door because two angels of the Lord came into Sodom and Gomorrah. And it says right there in the Bible that these wicked men are trying to get in there to rape the angels. They don't know they're angels. Lot knows, but, but these wicked men don't know. And, and basically the angels say, stand back, and they blind the wicked men. And the angels say, you know what, in, Lot, get you and your family out of here. We're going to destroy this place, and we can't do it until you're gone. You see how God's protecting the righteous, and He is um, He's basically separating them from the other the other group. Well, what happened is, um, so I asked Juan, I said, Juan, I go, what do you want God to do? Just let him go in there and, and rape, try to rape the angels? I mean, come on, the scooter guy's getting off right now off the freeway. That scooter guy goes fast. See, that's all you guys need. Get something like that. Probably around $9,000 or less. And that's a high figure. I would say you can get one used for like probably four grand. I don't know what type of scooter that was, but I've seen scooters in there for like four grand used. I had one once. I had a Honda Elite 150. Okay, let me get back to the subject. So, um, after, after the debate was done, um, everyone, had, they did like a poll. I don't like doing the polls where we ask who won because I don't really want to hurt someone's feelings. And, I mean, it's quite obvious that Juan didn't win. And then when they did the poll, it was obvious again he didn't win. The poll showed that Christian theism won. The majority of people said Christian theism won. But poll or no poll, uh, even though the poll said I won, hold on, gotta get to my nose. By saying that God uh, could have did something besides destroy Sodom and Gomorrah does not give argument or weight to the fact that God does not exist. It adds more weight to it. What Juan was saying was, and this is a typical atheist thing that they say, is they don't like the way God runs things. They say, well, I was God, I wouldn't have done that. I would have done this, that, or the other. Well, how are you to know uh, what God's goals are? What? How do you have the information that God has? God has all the information. So, anyways, the main thing when I'm doing these debates, and all 50 of them atheists lost, this is a project that um, I wanted to do because the main reason why we're doing these debates is I know you guys as Christians, my Christians, bro Christian brothers and sisters, you get a lot of flack here on YouTube. And um, look, Queen Latifah is coming over here at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. I guess she's singing it. But you Christians get a lot of flack. Hey, don't worry about it, guys. Listen, let me pretend I'm your uncle, Uncle Shock. They don't have any arguments, guys. The God haters don't have any arguments. They can't win any debate. So I want to offer something to you. If you're a Christian on YouTube and you're constantly uh, getting harassed for your Christian beliefs, send them to Uncle Shock. Say, hey, well, I got an uncle here on YouTube. I call him Uncle Shock. And he said he's willing to debate you. Just do that. 
send them to Uncle Shock. I'll take care of them. God bless you guys. Have a great week. Don't forget, creation.com below.